Hi, this is Lyndon from the Data Connectors team at Hasura. I'm here today to bring you a little bit of a sneak peek at what we like to call the TypeScript connector. Um, so let me open up some slides so I don't lose my place and see if we can get through this uh, quickly enough that you've got time for some questions. So right off the top, what is the TypeScript connector? Well, we're going to call it the future of actions in Hasura v3. A bit of background. You might love Hasura. I know I certainly love Hasura and a lot of people do. But from my experience, the reason why they love it is because of two things. One is convenience and the other one is experience. So you have a very convenient time using Hasura, but you also have a great experience using Hasura. So those things don't always go together, but with Hasura, historically, they have. But nothing is perfect, and what could be improved from Hasura v2? Well, I think everyone has, at one stage or another, butted up against the problem of a lack of flexibility for certain things. Because Hasura is very opinionated, and uh, there's always some way to achieve what you want to achieve, but you may not be able to do it with Hasura alone. You might need a... Um, Lambda function or something like that to help you out. Um, so then, what is this V3 thing and what is its philosophy? So I think at the core of V3, we're trying to make things more declarative and have cleaner boundaries, but at the same time, make things a lot faster and uh, more economical and closer to the edge. Um, so what about V2 actions? You may be familiar with V2 actions, they're one of Asura's historically core features. They're very convenient, they let you hit a REST API, um, but they're not super flexible. So in the past you may have had to write a Lambda function or a web service to be able to receive your action and translate it to another service that you want to hit or do some business logic. But actually that may not be uh, as convenient as you'd like it to be. And that's why we introduced Criti. Um, recently, the templating language to translate responses, but even that has limitations. So Hasura v3 is kind of in the opposite pos position, it's extremely flexible and powerful with a connector-driven paradigm, allowing you to do pretty much whatever you want and expose it as a data source, but it's not super convenient because you have to implement a whole kind of um, paradigm if you want to write your own connector. But here at Hasura, we want our customers to have their cake and eat it too. We want a convenient and powerful action alternative. So we've got this guy, not sure. <laughs> if you're familiar with idiocracy, that's where that's from. And he's gonna solve everything. In this case, the TS connector is somewhat of this idea. We wanna be able to let you write idiomatic TypeScript functions that can do whatever you want and have Hasura automatically infer and expose them as a GraphQL API in the engine. Wouldn't that be great? I think everyone can agree it would. So I'll give you a little demo. So here I've got a little skeleton project. Just ignore this full and stub files. I'm going to copy and paste from them. And essentially, this is the V3 um, format that you might be exposed to. You have a metadata kind of declaratively um, describing your v3 project and then in this case because we're going to use the TypeScript connector we have a TypeScript function file and if we go here and run it oops, then you'll see that the implementation that we've defined currently stubs comes through uh, automatically but let's have a look at a fuller implementation and you can see here that we're actually referencing um, libraries rather than just having vanilla TypeScript files. And we've defined their interfaces with usual TypeScript fashion, nothing bespoke to Hasura. And now if we go over here and run them, we've got a GitHub bio lookup for me, Sordina, and we've got a password hash function of the Hunter2 password with the very secure MD5 hash. Um, so that's pretty much all we've got time for. Um, but this is going to let you write idiomatic TypeScript to achieve function-like capabilities.
please give us some questions. All right, some very cool things there. Uh, I was very excited when I first saw that. Rahul, I know that you're here to talk a little bit about V3, maybe answer some questions that come through about the TypeScript connector itself. Uh, but I know you have some other things that you'd like to talk about as well. So I'll turn it over to you. No, we really would like to know from the community how you think about this demo and what you saw in the demo before is um, a kind of this flow which I'm presenting here that you're writing functions in TypeScript. Um, and then using the TypeScript connector, you're able to uh, leverage the V3 engine to front those functions. And the two use cases which we saw were uh, you are calling the GitHub API to uh, get some information or using one of the NPM packages to do a, uh, to execute a hash on a value. So these are like some of the things we would like to know from you is that does using TypeScript for business logic or working with external APIs resonate with you or do you think it's like okay or are you very excited about the support of typescript now on hasura what are your ideas and concerns in general about the dx uh, do you want control over the function hosting platform for example if what if we bring in uh, provide some integration with dino or uh, you don't want to think about uh, dino you just want hasura to manage all of that those are like some of the things we are uh, want some feedback on and just in general, what kind of functionality would you like to build with this and any top NPM packages that come to your mind or external APIs that come to your mind, which you could use for this connector. Those are some of the things would, uh, we would like to know more. Uh, so maybe let's give it half a minute or one minute for people to uh, provide their feedback on what they just saw and uh, you could always- yeah, there's already a few yes. pieces coming in over there. And you can always reach out to me on this email to provide more feedback. So I know Tristan always wants something regarding Python, so we'll get there. But uh, uh, so you're saying that, okay. Host actions, events, and clones in Hasura Cloud, got it. Ben, uh, thank you for that feedback. About the CI CD and deployment story. And that's where we wanted to know more is that uh, do you want that CI/CD for the functions to be separate from Hasura, or do you want Hasura to manage that CI/CD? I think the latter brings some complexity. Um, that's something, Ben. If you have any comments on that, that would be helpful. Awesome. So Peter is saying that yes, TypeScript is a good direction we're going towards. Yeah. So when you talk about type, uh, okay. So you really uh, see uh, Salem that. You could use something like this to inject business logic. Um, that's great to know. Amazing. Thank you for providing all this feed. I, I think I would want to create and test in dev and then automatically deploy into prod. Got it. Okay, Ben. Um, thank you for that. And um, so overall, this is clicking. Um, uh, so we'll want to invest more in this and uh, uh, as we roll out B3, uh, stay in tune for the, um, uh, for the upcoming public release and you will get an opportunity to, uh, use this in production and, uh, execute some use cases and awesome. So I'll reach out to you folks, uh, individually, if you don't mind to have more chat on this, but I just want to yield my time, Rob, for the other presentations today. Uh, that's what we had for today from B3. Oh, well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, very gracious with your time and nice to see a lot of validation coming through in the chat about this. That's great. Mm -hmm.